Hey Chris, how are you? Okay, just checking the delay so that I'm in frame over here and uh, we have the deluxe treatment tonight and we have real lighting that I took out from my green screen from my Christmas party a couple of years ago and uh, so I think we're good, we're like set over here. Hey Kevin! How's it going? Miss you. Um, so what I uh, did is uh, I had all of my boxes arrive at the same time. Uh, so I thought instead of doing a opening, I was going to do, uh, I was hoping they were going to come for May the 4th, but they didn't. They came uh, two days ago. And so I kind of remember what I ordered, but I don't really remember everything at the same time so it's going to be kind of like a surprise um, of what you're seeing uh, and I'm also trying something new tonight is uh, a test where I'm filming with two cameras so I'm filming here live with the phone and then I'm filming there with my Canon camera which will be in full horizontal uh, mode which is what I hate that the live Facebook doesn't do for some reason. Uh, you're stuck with the vertical thing, which I guess is good when I'm going to show you the figures, but when you're doing the counting videos or once I'm going to be doing the actual um, uh, diorama uh, construction live, then it'll obviously be better with the wide camera. So I don't know if it's going to... When I see the footage, I'm going to see if it's... Uh, distracting and when I'm talking to this camera and then the people there see my eyes looking sideways like when news reporters do the interviews or if it's going to be uh you know weirder having shifting like this talking oh here I am showing the camera here here and then like we'll see we'll figure it out since uh you know it's all exciting with the new website all the design is going super well I'm last month I had over 100 posts updated and now I'm doing the same thing I'm doing lots of celebration uh, things. Oh, speaking of celebration, before we start uh, doing the counting, uh, they did the announcement finally today, and uh, celebration will be in Chicago next year. Can you believe it? Of all places, I, I was certain they were going to go back to Anaheim with the opening of Star Wars Land, and obviously, it was not. They chose Chicago. I had even heard that Las Vegas was a choice, which I, I don't know personally. I think it would have been more fun to be in Las Vegas than Chicago. Chicago, I went in 94, I think, to a consumer electronics show, and which was kind of cool. They had, like, I got to play all the Super Nintendo games before they came out, and uh, that was neat. But, I don't know, is there anything to do in Chicago, like, apart from doing, visiting the site, uh, sites that Ferris Bueller did in the movie or something, or, you know... Uh, I'm not going to get all hate mail from people who live in Chicago, but uh, I don't know. Chicago is cold. There's snow. It's like Montreal. I lived all my life in Montreal. Even here in, in uh, New Brunswick, it's like snow in the winter. I want to, if I'm going to leave to go to celebration and and spend a week over there, I like it when it's in California or Orlando because it's warm and you get to go outside in a t-shirt when you come back and you have to wear your winter coat again so to wear coats and stuff it's going to be kind of you know anyway hey warwick how's it going long time no see so uh anyway i since i'm already late uh with this i'm going to uh start uh revealing what i purchased in the or received in the last couple of uh days um, I have uh, one, two, three, four boxes to go through. So uh, since this is kind of like the second one I'm doing of this, I'm not quite sure if I should be going uh, one box super detailed or let's just open all the boxes and then we'll go and see what I have. Because I know that there's some is duplicates because I like to buy duplicates for my dioramas, obviously. And uh, so, okay. So maybe we should start with this one from Amazon because it's the one that uh, I know it has a single figure in it because uh, they shipped it separately. I don't really remember what I ordered, which is pretty bad when you when you have all these figures, hundreds and hundreds of 
not hundreds of thousands, I was going to say thousands of figures, like you kind of like lose track. I don't even know sometimes like, oh, did I buy this figure? I already had it or, or whatnot. Hey, Nelly. Now my cat's going to be like bugging me the whole, the whole time she was meowing. Of course, she doesn't pay attention to me all day. And then like two minutes before we're going live, then it's like, meow, meow, meow. Right, Nelly? Yes. Okay, we have uh, the package, okay. Oh. Okay, I assume I don't have this. Uh, there's, it is two of the same, so I can keep one carded. I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna be throwing these away right away. Uh, so it's, um, okay, these I could never find in stores here in New Brunswick. So it is actually the uh, R2-D2s um, from, uh, I think it's from Last Jedi, or is it Force Awakens? Does it even say on? There's no logo, it just says Star Wars on it. But I think it's Last Jedi because it's the Force Link. So this is the R2-D2. I don't know, can you see that? I'll hold it in frame. I have the little delay there. There you go. So that's the one I got. Hey everyone, oh, I should give sh shouts out. Hey Chris, how's it going? Edward? More stuff, less talking, Chris says. <laughs> Look, it's hard. You know, when you're old, you get stuck, especially, you, you, you know, with all the celebrations that you've been helping me. You know me enough to know that I'm like that squirrel in that movie there. Not Dory, because she forgets. But, uh, you know, I always get distracted and never get on the same topic and stuff like that. So anyhow, OK, I'm going to try and, and do less talking. And, and if not, we'll be here for three hours, right? So anyhow. OK, so. Uh, if I go over here, let me just see if I can find uh, the reader. I know I have it somewhere. This is last year. I should have. I should have thought of this before. How come I can't find it? This is no, no. Rogue One. Last Jedi, Poe, Stormtroopers, that's weird, oh here it is, yeah okay it's, I put it in this bin, I don't know why, yeah. might as well get my reader, Okay, let's open, let's see which card is the nicest, so I, I'll keep the nicest. This one's kind of crinkled, so I'll open that one. I'll use this one to keep for later. So let's open uh, Mr. R2-D2. Of course I have tons of R2s. Did I do the videos of the counting R2-D2s? No, I don't think so. I did counting R2 uh, units. But not the R2 D2, actual R2 D2. I should get an exacto. Excuse me for my unplanning or my bad planning, I should say, of this uh, evening. Okay. This is a bit, a bit easier to open than the vintage ones. See that we were talking at the vintage video where at the vintage is just like scotch tape on the sides and then this one it's like more like real glue so if i go to tear if i go to tear this then it's going to rip all the cardboard you see the sort of like mess there that i get so those who want to keep the artwork of the card you can't really with with these ones but plus it's the mini card which i'm really not happy when they Spent over 12 years making nice same size cards for your nice display. And then they change the cards to this small little miniaturized thing to for, I guess, the environment or to save more for saving money, I would assume, before environment. But. Okay, so Mr. R2. Mr. R2 has little wheels underneath, which is nice. And... Uh, there's no clicking. The old R2s, when you turn the head, they went like click, 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 click. 
his foot does not reach out. Oh, geez, I just broke him already. This little flame thing, which I would remove anyway. Uh, where did this go? Okay, like this. Okay, so he has... Uh, does this come off? Okay. So you can remove the third leg just by pulling it. Then it leaves a big hole in it. But at least if you're going to make him fly in a diorama or, or something, then at least he doesn't have the third leg stuck. But the other ones, I like the R2s were hollow, so you could actually push it, the third leg in, like in the movie. Not for this one. Okay. So let's see if he makes noise. <laughs> you know this is the worst this is the worst design toy i've ever seen they should have made it at least like the com tech chips of the past where you know you put it on it's like the, it reads it like one time out of like four or something that's it Okay, well, we heard a couple of his beeps. I'd hope that he would do his uh, his dying there when he goes uh, when the Jawas get him and he goes. But, okay, this thing. It, it keeps turning. See, there's no on-off switch on this, which is stupid. And so then you have to shake it. You don't know if it's on or off. And then obviously, then you have to play with this. And you don't even know. Okay, I heard him there. But then. <laughs> okay, that's one sound. Anyway, you get the picture. Now this is turning off again. I'm getting very annoyed. If I'm annoyed by this, wait till we get to open. One of these boxes contains the new Solo toys. And I know that uh, the Comtech chip goes with the phase two of this. And apparently you have to reboot it or fix the, make it with the phone. And that'll make me very angry. Chris, are you directing my, my show tonight? It says, move on, move on. <laughs> okay, so we got that. So I'll put R2-D2 here on uh, the stand. I don't know if you'll be able to see that at this point. Okay, so let's open this. Uh, just a, a note to self, just to, has nothing to do with tonight. Well, it does because it came in the box, but I ordered some chickpea flour <laughs> to make some onion bhajis. And uh, it was the first time I ordered food in uh, through Amazon. So that's why this box is already open because I had to take the flour out. So on that exciting note, side note, uh, so in this we have figures that were on uh, li liquidation somewhat prices. So we have, okay, this box, I don't need anymore. Okay, so we have this uh, Luke, Luke from uh, the island of uh, whatever island the name is. You know, I used to know... Well, I do know the names of all the original trilogy planets and everything like this. And I kind of know Rogue One. But it's like, did I memorize? Nelly, what are you doing there? She's walking around in my Millennium Falcon diorama. I'm not quite happy about that. Okay, so this is uh, the Luke figure. It's pretty cool. Okay. And... Um... The other ones I got is uh, three of the same, so it's these double uh, Ray and the Elite Guards. So one, two, three. And if you wonder why I got three of these and I already have two, well, it's because, yes, I do want to make one of the dioramas of the Red Room from uh, Last Jedi because it's one of the coolest scenes. And I think that in the movie, the guards, there's three variations of guards, but Hasbro only made one. Or maybe two, but I don't know if the other one was only in six inch or something. So 
It'll have to be the same guard six times, but at least at some point during the summer, I plan on making the room and then we'll have the uh, diorama of uh, the red room with Snoke and uh, his lovely decapitation. I hope you've seen the movie. Okay, so um, these, uh, should I open them? Should I see comments on the... <laughs> That's good, Chris. Excellent. That's the only way to watch me is to spoof me at the same time because it's you know, no one else uh, takes me seriously. Actually, my friend Greg says like, uh, why are you even filming this? Like, people are actually gonna watch you. Like, it's he, for him. It's like watching paint dry to have people watch me open figures, <laughs> or even worse, the counting videos. That's the ones where he says like, oh my lord, you're gonna film counting a video, okay. So this, I have plenty of these packages, so I don't really care. Um, these are old, older figures, so I assume you've uh, seen these already. But uh, yeah, even though they're, you know, they're five points of articulation, uh, I do like the sculpt. It, it does look nice. And uh, you know, the fact that it's plastic for the cloth instead of, or for the cloth look instead of cloth. I like that because I hate plastic in figures. It's just like, drives me nuts. I mean, I hate cloth. Did I say I hate plastic? Okay, I'm not even paying attention. Say I was distracted by the fact that there's that second camera there tonight. And the cat is staring at me very creepily. I see you, Nelly. Yes, I do. Okay, so this guy, uh, because he's plastic, I like better than cloth because cloth looks like Kleenex wrapped around the figures because they're too small for actual cloth to look cool. And then, so that's that. And then this ray, you know, if you see her close up, I have to hold and then wait five seconds to see the delay. Let me see. Yeah, closer, closer. Out of figure focus, it seems. But yeah, like it's okay. It's a nice figure. So at least it's very detailed. She looks, you know, but she doesn't really look like the actress. But anyhow, okay. So I got these, and then uh, the other one is uh, the Luke, obviously. And this I could not find in stores anywhere, so I succumbed to ordering it online, which I haven't ordered online in many, many years because I hate paying the shipping and the duty because you order from the States. For some reason, Amazon Canada and Amazon US does not have the same stock. Just the same way that Target went bankrupt and closed because everyone was all excited. All that we were, we were saying like, finally Target stores in Canada will be able to buy all the cool exclusive stuff, but no, no. All the stuff that you had in the States did not show up in Target in Canada, and so no one went shopping to Target, and then Target went bankrupt and closed after maybe six months, eight months. So I'm not even trying, but the old Frank of the past would try and make these as clean as possible because I would save these, but now I really, you know, half of me still cares, but half of me, eh. It's like, so this Luke is the Luke on uh, that island. I forget the name of the island. If someone can tell me what the name is, I forget. Someone's crying. Why is someone crying? What happened? Superpower. What? I don't get that. What's superpower mean? Superpower Luke? No, I don't think so. Okay, so... Um, yeah, he's a nice figure. I like him. Uh, he's like uh, pretty detailed and uh, has the hood. And uh, I like, again, the plastic details of like the look of the cloth so that in a diorama it looks like really nice. And then I don't know if you can see it in this camera, but I might di ditch the two camera approach once I see the footage of this. I like I'm not even paying attention to this camera. I was telling the people at the beginning, Chris, you're going to love this because I'm going to ra rant on again. Uh, I installed two cameras, one in high def, regular format 69, so that when I do the archive on YouTube, you'd not be able to only see that little slit that 
Facebook forces you to watch when it's live, but I've been ignoring this camera, so I might just ditch that footage and then never do that again and only do it for the making of dioramas. And okay, I'm going back, getting back to this. Oh, very cool. Look, you can actually remove his little uh, hood. You guys can see this. You can take the hood off and then like he has his little head like this. Very nice. I love that. And it's a great figure. Yeah, maybe I should have ordered two of these. I don't know, are you guys having trouble finding figures in your cities? It's like, uh, before it used to be, and then obviously the sad news that Toys R Us is closed, so that's one big store less to find toys at, but anyway. I wish he had more articulation so you could make him more poseable in dioramas, but I really like him a lot. And does he, oh, he does have Force Link. Hold on, let's see if he says anything. Hold on, turn this on. Okay, you ready? Low battery. Low battery. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, now you can tell we're live because I wasn't even planning on using this. I just thought of it two seconds before after we went live and now it says low battery. You know what I say? Piece of poo poo is what I say. That toy. Okay. Well, I guess I'll have to do a separate video to know what Luke said. Now it's still, there's no battery according to the thing, but it's still making sound. Stupid, stupid cheap toy. Okay. Anyway, the Luke is cool. So I put him uh, over here. Low battery is not in the movie. Actually, there's a funny video of this guy who had was opening the uh, Han Solo figures and he uh, needed to, he was putting it on the, the figures where the force two point, 2.0 reader and he was using his one reader or maybe he was using the 2.0 reader or something I don't know and uh, He put the figure on the on the on the machine and the machine said that he needed to update his app or reboot or or do something anyway It was the equivalent of like does not compute in Star Trek kind of thing there and it was like hilarious the guy just was losing it and uh I had a good chuckle that afternoon watching that video. Okay, so let's do some voting, people. Uh, we have a box from Walmart. We have a box from Entertainment Earth. And we have a box from my friend Jose here. Now, I know that Jose... I know these are the solos. I don't know what is in it. How many solos. If it's two packs, one packs, I don't know. I know that there's still no solo toys in New Brunswick after three weeks. So... I'll be curious to see them in person after seeing them online or, or whatnot. But, um, so, do I save Solo for the end? Let's see what people say. Okay, Chris says Entertainment Earth. Okay, so let's put Walmart to side and do uh, Entertainment Earth. Okay, this is obviously, if I ordered from Entertainment Earth, which the shipping alone cost me almost the same cost as the figures... Yay, Canada! Yay, customs! I just love it. Anyhow, so let's uh, cut this open. You know, it's funny, all these years I've been watching people do open videos and saying like, my God, that's like so boring. Who would want to watch that? And here I am making them myself. So I don't know what that means in life or in my brain or whatnot. Oh, by the way, just uh, off topic again, because Chris loves it so much when I do that. I'll talk about these at some point, but I got these two cool books uh, the other day, uh, Rogue One and uh, Last Jedi. They have some nice photos inside and things, not as much behind the scenes making of as I would have liked, but it's cool books for under 12 bucks or so. It's like, it's worth it. If you have kids or if you like to look at behind the scenes photos for dioramas and stuff like that. So, Okay. I like you too, Chris. Okay. So in here, we have... Oh, yes, yes. I forgot about that. Okay, I'm, got, I'm happy about this. Okay. Now, I'm running out of garbage space, but... Okay. So obviously... Well, not obviously, because... 
we didn't know what was inside. So I have a case of something over here. And I have, if I take this box away, well, maybe I'll leave the box so I could leave my hand off like that. Here, hold on. I'll just turn this up like this. Okay. I have, a, I think these are exclusive to Entertainment Earth. I believe, but uh, this is the um, Finn, um, uh, whatchamacallit, I'm trying John, you have to be patient with me, um, what do they actually call this, the first officer disguise Finn and uh, Captain Phasma, so I really don't care about Phasma, I got it more for um, the Finn, obviously. Because uh, I want to do a diorama of when Rose and Finn go into um, the, is it the Death Star? No, what is it in that movie? See, I'm, I have to, you know, I haven't watched the new movies the same number of times as the original. So I'm still like, I can't, you know, I don't know the dialogue and all the different things as much as I do the original ones. And so I still find it a little confusing. But I know that they were on, I was going to say Starkiller Base, but Starkiller Base was last, that no, the one before, which was Force Awakens. And this one, Last Jedi, they go, they go into the ship, I think. Snoke ship. I could be wrong. It's, they all look like the Death Star. Anyway, so I'm glad that they have this because... Uh, the rose I don't have, but I know it's probably in this one because I couldn't find the rose one anywhere. So Rose and him together um, with the uh, casino, not casino guy, what's the, the guy who stutters there in the movie, Del Toro, uh, his character's name, DJ or something. I think it, it was. Anyhow, so uh, very cool. I'm really happy about this. Um, so let me see. I'm going to keep one. This one's folded, has creases, so that's going to be the open one. And this one is going to be the one for my wall. Okay, so let me open this for you. And uh, anyway, by the way, while I open this, for those who uh, were not there tuning in uh, late, or who weren't there when I turned the camera on, basically, uh, they did the announcements for Star Wars Celebration uh, next year, obviously, I'm going to be going back. We're going to do another workshop. Uh, this time they announced Chicago, so I was way off of Anaheim. I was hoping Anaheim for Star Wars Land. I really wanted to go. And um, so are you guys excited that's in Chicago? Or I kind of like pissed because Chicago is like winter. Like here it's cold. I wanted to go where it's warm and I can walk around in t-shirt in April and not have to go and put a hoodie or things or whatever. So that's the only thing I'm really disappointed, but anyway. I had a ton of wasted potential. Yes, I agree. Hey, Ted. Hello. Chris says boo. Boo for Chicago or boo for, uh, for celebration? Can you see a, me wink over my glasses? Huh? Okay. I hope you can make it with the family again, Chris, next year. I know it's not, you know... Chicago, I don't want to say it's not as exciting for people who live in Chicago. I'm sure you love your city. Okay, this has all kinds of, this is what I call poo-poo accessories. If I open this. My God, the blister. Okay. Jeez. How the hell is this stuck? God. Okay. Now, I have no idea what this is. It's some kind of backpack thing that I don't believe was in the movie. And I guess you're supposed to have him wear it like this. And this to me is total poo-poo. It's like real, uh, I don't like these things. It, it, to me, it's junk. It's, it'll look nice in a trash compactor diorama or, you know, even better in uh, when I redo uh, the Bespin uh, Ugnot torture not torture chamber that could work as well uh for jabba's palace but the ugnots is uh, the boiler room where he has all kinds of junk and stuff like this on the conveyor belt and stuff so this would work good for this because this is caca okay so i'm just saying it i'm laying it out there just like this big cannon thing 
I know kids love to play with big cannon whatever, but to me it's like, if it ain't in the movie, it's caca. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. So Phasma, uh, you know, it is Phasma. There's like a, her cape, at least it's not cloth cape. So thumbs up for that. Um, you know, like Chris was saying, she's like a lost potential in the movies. Like she could have been like so much cool, uh, cooler than what she ended up being. <coughs> and uh, especially knowing that, you know, the girl under the, the helmet is the the girl who uh, plays uh, Brianna, I think it is, in Game of Thrones. I forget her name. I think it's Brianna. I could be be wrong. But anyhow, so this was, uh, yes, I agree, Chris, a uh, huge lost uh, opportunity and things like this. Hernan says, Kaka ja ja ja. Is that like a song? <laughs> I like Kaka because Kaka is in French as well as in English, and it's more polite than the sh word and since you know i do have some kids that visit the diorama workshop i just spit all over the camera i don't know if it went <laughs> and 3d spit anyhow so i you know, sometimes i say poo poo or poodoo va bantha poodoo you know to make sort of like the star wars joke reference and stuff like that so this is actually an amazing figure i love this it's beautiful the sculpt and his face is really nice it's actually one of his best, the best Finn likenesses. So this is what he looks like close up. Are you guys able to see this? I mean, let me get, I'm trying to aim, trying to look at my monitor for my six second delay. Now, see his face is pretty cool in though the, the light in the monitor is sort of like makes it look not as, uh... hey Keith, nice for you to join us. I can't wait for you guys to come visit again. A couple of weeks. So I'm really impressed with this guy. Uh, he has the Tarkin pants and the, the, the sort of like the pants of the, the old movies. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm excited to do the diorama for this. Uh, so I'm going to be taking this uh, little poo-poo backpack and uh, this gun, which whatever it is, I'm going to be throwing those into the boiler rooms. And I'm going to be putting him aside for now over here and then at the end of the video we'll scroll and pan on all the figures that I that I got so okay so I guess I should grab back where did I put that where did I put that guard the red guard where did I put you Ray and the red guard god I'm really losing my mind it's on here okay I don't know why I put on the floor I'm just gonna put her back here one day I'm gonna to have to do a video. I'm, I've been postponing doing this because I wanna film a video of taking these cool stands from Bed Bath Beyond and actually I've been screwing holes in them and putting little uh, hair curler pins through it because the hair curler plastic pins are the exact same dimension as the pe peg holes at the bottom of the feet. So it prevents all your figures from falling like dominoes. But so I need to do that. And before I do it, I want to film it, and I've been putting it off because I'm trying to bring my website up to date. I'm trying to do everything at the same time. It's not easy. It's not easy being frank, you know. Actually, I should. <laughs> I have a photo that I don't know if I put it on Facebook yet. I think I'm. Uh, it's not on. I think I'll post it tomorrow or something. It, in uh, Canadian Tire is a store in in Canada. Canadian Tire. <laughs> And uh, they have, uh, their product line is called Frank. And so my name is Frank. Oh, I forgot to say that. Hi, I'm Frank Diorio from DioramaWorkshop.com. Usually I say it at the beginning of the thing. But anyhow. Okay, so anyway, since the brand name Frank is the same name as my name, and then they had this package which said something like, no one does it better than Frank or something like this. And I thought it was so true. <laughs> And very funny so I took a photo and I will post it on Facebook uh, later so okay so uh, enough of that Chris I didn't look at the the comments Chris must be losing his mind now saying like uh, oh he didn't even you didn't even say to shut up and and get to the next figure that's you're holding your tongue there it's pretty good you're getting some restraint watching uh, through the the time so anyway 
You're in the room at the bottom of the stairs. Yes, Keith, in the, the boiler room where my figures are and uh, different things. So, yes. <laughs> <coughs> the red figure is good for customs. I agree, though I've never really been into customs. I guess we'll have to do like a... One day I should do a Q&A thing with you guys and, and interact. The... I, when I do the dioramas, obviously I like doing dioramas and I build it as the sets of the movies. And then I usually like to put the figures that are available. I make the diorama based on what figures are available. Obviously, sometimes you have to do customs like the Jedi Council where they're sitting because they don't have sitting poses or whatever. But then I feel I'm kind of cheating when it's customs because it's not the actual figure. And like I'm trying to use the real figure. And then it's like, oh, OK, is it the figure? Or is it not the figure? Because I modified it or different things. So all these confusing things in my brain, you know, it's, you know, it's just me. It's Frank. So, OK, I'm going to put this down. Oh, I think I have froze there or something. I don't know. There's, you know, I'm in a Wi-Fi situation. So hopefully the live feed won't go down or, or whatever. Okay. So let's see. So let's open uh, this uh, box from uh, Entertainment Earth. It says stop. So I don't know. Maybe I should stop. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, this is um, Star Wars 8-piece. If it does it even say what? from what it is last jedi or it doesn't even say assortment case da, 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 da. i guess i'll just open it and find out what it is last it's either last jedi or it's uh the new movie or the one before that which is force awakens oh it is what the hell Oh, it looks like it's two packs, I believe. Okay, here's the, the yeah, it's two pack things. Okay, so here's the Rose, which could not be found in stores either, so I ordered her. Um, so this will be cool because I'll be able to now make the diorama that goes with the Finn character. And they have the evil BB-8, the black BB-8, which I kind of was rolling my eyes when I saw the movie because it was kind of like a little, you know, saying like, why is just black painted BB-8? But then I guess R2-D2, R2, you know, R5-D4 was red, even though his dome was changed different, you know, so there are different variations and stuff like that. So, okay, so, wow, look at the, this case, okay? It's full of what looks like the same figure. <laughs> so I bought it because I wanted this basically but it looks like i got a whole lot of other stuff that i won't necessarily need but anyway we'll see uh things what did i say pg-13 language what did i just say was it the if you're talking about the caca that was like a conversation from five minutes ago or did i swear without knowing i swore did i Probably. I'll have to, when I rewatch the video, I'll see. Oh, maybe when I was saying that they were all the same. I, anyway, I forget. Okay. No, that, well, yes, I could find, Chris says I couldn't find the rose. I could not find this rose, the rose in the Imperial disguise. I could not find this anywhere in the stores. There was obviously the rose in the orange jumpsuit. That's all there is left on the pegs. That's all you could find. So, yes, there are tons of roses but not this one. And this is the one I wanted. So I have one, two. Oh, look, three. Okay. Okay, well, you know, I said I could always use another one. So in the movie, I think there's, is it eight? Eight guards that, they're, that they fight in the room? I, I can't remember. I think it could be that, but anyway. So there's this one. And then, of course, because I didn't have this already. Do you remember this movie? Whatever. Those are old enough to have seen Clueless. Um, okay, so this is uh, Chirrut and Bays, which is, you know, I have to say that, okay, A New Hope is the one I've seen the most. Empire Strikes Back is very, very close second on my favorite list but then rogue one i'm telling you i've been watching that over and over so 
so often. It's like it's really creeping up on one of my favorite, favorite Star Wars movies. You know, it's like uh, I just can't get enough of Rogue One. It's like uh, it was so well done. It was really what the prequels should have been. It was, you know, I know that they refilmed a lot of stuff and like the, the original version was not good, so they say. But what they ended up with is what counts. And that movie really... It's a kick-ass movie. I know it's not PG, but Rogue One. Rogue One is the bomb. Rogue One is the bomb. Episode One. Chris. Misa no like Episode One. But I like Episode One better than Episode Two and Three. Three is the, you know, I'll give you a fact. Episode Three, I've seen, think, one time, maybe two times in the theater. And then I bought the Blu-ray, which was the box, and I've never even played the Blu-ray because I hate that episode so much. It's like so boring. And that whole Vader scene at the end where he cries because Padme died there. <coughs> that is like the worst use of Vader. Like, it. oh my God, I, I'm not even going to go there. Okay, so this is a Chirrut. And then another Chirrut. And then another Chirrut. Okay, I think I'm going to have to be doing either customs or I'm going to be doing some giveaways or something at some point. And a Han Solo and Boba Fett. I didn't even know they had made this in uh, modern... We could have listened to it if the battery was not in low form or whatever the message was there. It was saying, like, my battery needs to be changed on the stupid reader. Um, anyway... So, yeah, I didn't know they made this. Okay, well, it's, a, I guess, a cool variant of Boba Fett. It's not the best one. Best one, I think, is either one of the vintage ones or the ones that he had that sort of like uh, those flames that he would you would pose it on the flames. It looked like an, all this fire explosion was going off. That was a really cool Boba Fett. So, okay. Anyhow. Okay, well, this is something I would not have necessarily bought in a toy store, but... I have it now, so I'll just keep it, you know, for now. And uh, this I will add to... I don't know why they, why they put three of these chiruts. They should have put more of the, of her. So at least you could have had more red guards, but... Okay. Red guard. Cool. Put him there, I guess. Chirut, uh Do you guys need me to open chirut? Hmm. Fat, do you want to see these? Should I open them? I don't know. I'll open Rose because obviously we haven't seen her. So I'm gonna do that. The other ones, I don't know. The Chirut are old from a year ago. So I don't, I think they're the same versions as that were carded, right? I'd have to go in the bedroom to to go see because they're on the stand. But. Okay, let's open uh, Rose quick, quick, quick without cutting myself. Let's see. The Fed is actually nice when you have it in hand. Okay, well, well, he looks nice, the Fed, actually. I'd have to say, Jamie, Jamie asked, or Jamie stated. Uh, what, Chris asks, how much? How much what? How much, how much I love you, your help at the Star Wars Celebration team? You know the answer to that. Okay. Okay, a gun fell out. Okay, so we have... Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? I almost blinded myself with with the BB-8. Oh, this BB-8 is weird. Can you can you see this? See, I'm seeing... There's a seven-second delay, and I just <laughs> saw myself get poked in the eye with the explosion of the BB-8. Okay, so... Look how cool this is. His, uh, his head actually pivots forward and back and can you see that and then there's sort of like a i don't know if you could see underneath it's, it's kind of like on a a ball joint compared to the the first version and so it makes his head be able to move like this like in the movie but then you can also rotate it and you can go like this That's neat. That's a, actually a cool variant of uh, compared to. I'd have to do a, a variation style of the of the other uh, 
thing. Hi, Tracy. Okay. The other only thing I bet you they didn't make a, a they could have cheated and made it a little flat so that he could stand. Oh, and they did. I don't know. Can you see? Look, unless it's a weight, but he actually can. Okay. Well, that's extra point. Okay. So there's BB-8. Okay. Here's uh, BB-8 Evil. I call him Evil BB-8, but he must have a name. His name is BB-9. How original. <laughs> they really forced themselves on that one. Let's see. This one's BB-8. What can we call the other one? How about BB-9? Okay. Okay, this one has the same uh, kind of uh, mechanism. Can you see? The, the tilt and then the head turns, obviously. But he is all black, so you'll it'll be hard for you to to see details or or whatnot. But uh, yeah, it's a nice little figure. I'm glad I have him because then at least now I can put him in dioramas, and then I can create the scene with the rose, which is the reason I bought this. The rose, the fin, BB-8, this guy, and then the. Um, Again, the character, I forget his name. The, what is the guy's name? The the stutterer again, anyway. That guy, he, uh, they made a figure of him, I know, DJ. And so, uh, okay, let us put these away for now. Hold on. So here is Rose. I don't know why people hate her so much. I don't know why people hate Last Jedi so much. I actually like Last Jedi. I've seen it maybe four times now. And uh, apart from, you know, yes, there are missed opportunities like Akbar should have been the place of Laura Dern to crash a ship that made you cheer more. And, you know, the whole floating Princess Leia, they call her the Mary Poppins, uh, Mary Poppins Leia or whatever. That was a bit roll your eyes kind of thing. So that's a bit silly. But the rest of the movie I actually think is pretty cool. So hate me, delete my channel, whatever you want to do, because I said I love, well, I won't say I love Last Jedi. I won't go that far. But I, I, you know, all the people who say they want to burn all their copies and all these things like this and that Disney murdered Star Wars because of Last Jedi is like, you know, I didn't like episode three or two or the prequels. So Maybe it's the same kind of thing. People don't like this because they like the prequels more than they like The Last Jedi or the new trilogy. I don't know. I'm getting more bored of the superhero movies, to tell you the truth. I watched uh, Black Panther last night. I loved the beginning. The first 30 minutes, I agree. I think it was Chris that told me that um, uh, it was the best, you know, sort of like uh, opening sequence, which is true. That animation and all that was really cool. But uh, after 30 minutes, I started going, oh, it's the same copy-paste things, fighting, fighting, boom, boom, boom. And it was sort of like, okay, so it's mixed in Africa and all these things, which is nice. But at the end, after two hours, I, I just had enough. I just wish I... I didn't fast-forward it. I watched it normal, but I just wanted it to end. I was, like, really bored out of my mind. And so, um, yeah. My favorite is still Logan, I think. And not just because he was, you know rated 18 and over here in Canada. But uh, anyway, I'm get, ranting away from my Star Wars uh, figures again. So here um, is the Rose in disguise for those of you who have not uh, seen her yet. So this is what she looks like. Right? So she's okay. She has uh, nice details in, in the uniform and, uh, and whatnot. So... There we go. I'm a bit out of focus. Well, I can't see because of the dumb delay. So it's hard for me to see. If it's out of focus, then I see it only after. Can you see it again? Hold on. No, it's out of focus. Now it's not even in frame because I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> now I'm going to laugh and it's going to jiggle all over the place. Okay. <laughs> Okay, it's still out of camera. I don't know why it's out of focus. I guess if I now I'm at an inch from the lens. So let, what does that look like if I put her that close? Now it's hold on. 
Okay, now she's totally out of focus. So if I go here, I should do these tests before to, to see. Okay, now this is five inches approximately. Okay, there she's good in focus. Okay, so I, the length of the figure approximately, if I hold her there, is good. So anyway, so she's, uh, she's cool. I like her, and I like the fact that she's in disguise with the, the Finn guy, so I like that. That uh, I'm actually looking forward to start making new dioramas again. It's going to be, I haven't made, I haven't made new diorama since uh, the designs I did for last year's Death Star celebration, so that, uh, that will be uh, a lot of fun. And now that they announced this one, then we're, we're kind of debating, we kind of... I'll give you a tease, not a tease. I'm not going to let let the, the, the spill all the beans yet. But uh, the team and I have uh, the team, meaning my core crew, which includes our lovely Chris Jones here. Um, we have kind of discussed um, some of the options for next year, and we're kind of heading in a direction that I think is really, really cool that we've never done before, and it's something the fans you're going to really love. So I think you're going to be. Um, Really happy when we do the final announce with that. <coughs> I have to get confirmation with Lucasfilm first, then I'll be able to spill all the things. Okay, well this is cool. He has the these like uh, sort of like jet fire things, uh, uh, you know, that he goes like flame retardant. Not flame retardant. That would be the opposite of catching on fire. But, you know. but uh, yeah, so. Yeah, I totally agree. Even though it's five points of articulation, um, this Boba Fett is really cool. It really is, really is nice. He actually, uh, you know, when you think of it, I was looking at when I was doing the counting of the uh, Rebel Troopers, the early 94 figures to maybe when they did the OTC or the vintage, they uh, were a five point articulation as well so it's kind of returned to the basic of what they had originally made so um you can't really complain about five point too much yes it's you know when you're spoiled with all the the, the knees and all the extra articulation yes that's true but you know um still in the diorama this would like look really really nice so like uh you know on uh on the bridge with uh, Darth Vader and the other bounty hunters or something like that. Really nice. Han Solo. I don't know. Let me try to get you guys to... Uh, can you see his face? If I... His face don't look like Harrison Ford. That's for sure. Let me just see. Can you guys see this? Hold on. You know who he looks like? He looks like Rick Springfield. Do you guys remember him? He sang Jesse's Girl, which is an awesome song. You should look that up on iTunes or Spotify. I love playing Jesse's Girl on my rock band. Um, yeah, that's who he looks like. He don't look like uh, Harrison Ford, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, it's a nice sculpt and a nice thing. But this is obviously the better part of the two-pack. Uh, this is worth the money. This could have done without, you know. But still, still a cool addition. Let me put him here, over here, with the Han Solo. Oh, he's tipping over. Oh, for God's sake. I wish I... Okay, I have to do the pegs for the next video, because this is annoying. Okay. And then uh, flames. I'll put that somewhere else. Okay, so I need you guys to vote. You have to tell me if I open this or not, or if I skip to the next box. Uh, do you guys want to see uh, Chirrut? Uh, it's the same one that was in uh, the other packages and stuff like that. So, anyway. Rick Springfield. You don't know Rick Springfield, Chris. You know it's Jesse's girl. I know it's Jesse's girl. How can I love a woman like that? Look it up. Okay. No! <laughs> Okay, the camera's on a tripod, so I can't point here, but while I was singing all my figures, they all fell down like dominoes, and uh, deal with this uh, later. Okay, so let's go to uh, Walmart, open this.
the next to last box. And then the box after this is the uh, solo figures. Did I mention to you guys that I bought my solo tickets already? I'm actually, you know, for someone who was bitching about this movie and was saying that, okay, I still don't like the actor 100%. Uh, I'm not happy that the girl from Game of Thrones is in it because she was terrible in Terminator and I don't think she's going to be very good in this because all you think of, just the way that Shatner is associated with Captain Kirk, it's hard to think of someone else beside her or whatever. Anyhow, um... I'm after seeing the trailer and everything I'm 180 degrees and my friend said I would have gone anyway even if I hated it or whatever which is kind of true it's Star Wars I have to see it at least once but I think uh, I'm gonna like it a lot better than I was thinking so anyway that's what this box is okay so okay in here we have can you guys see this you see the delay it's a lot of black series okay now, this was on, um, talk to you later, Chris. You can watch, I'll be posting on YouTube the archives of this if you want to see the end of the conversation. But I'm glad to see the family is coming and checking and seeing uh, the craziness that I do here uh, up in Canada with these videos and encourage their website. Thanks. Okay, so... Terminator Genesis was an awful movie, so you can't blame her for... No, I don't blame her completely. That's true. But, I, I, you know, it's because you compare to Linda Hamilton. When you have a character or an actor who was, like, icon in a movie, it's like if they, it's like when they replace Arnold to do another, ter you know, to put a Terminator, another Terminator to do Arnold or whatever. You, it's like, you can't replace that. It's like when you do the solo, you're so used to Harrison Ford to see someone else try to copy him. You can only compare him. So that's what, that's why I say in Terminator, you know, you kept thinking of Linda Hamilton and... The other one I hated even more, to, if I want to be honest, they're the Claire Danes from Terminator 3, was it, that she was there? Anyway, the, the that Sarah Connor, I did not like even worse. Okay, so these were um, on liquidation. These were $2.99 each. I wish I remembered the name of the guy. Uh, the Someone on Facebook actually emailed me and said, Frank, go on walmart.com or walmart.ca, uh, they have these, uh, the black uh, Death Troopers are on sale for two ninety nine, And so, geez, at that price, you know I'm going to buy them. And so, um, yeah, this, uh, I haven't made a Rogue One diorama yet, but I would love to. It's one of my favorite movies, so I definitely plan on doing this. So we have one Death Trooper, two Death Troopers, three Death Troopers, a four Death Troopers. We have a bill that we don't care. Oh, I won't say we don't care, but I don't need to show you that. And then we have a five <laughs> Death Troopers. A six Death Troopers. Oh, a variation, something different. Okay. The other ones are all different. Oh, 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 that's very cool. Oh, okay, so Death Trooper. So the final count of Death Troopers. One, two, Linda, Linda Chow, the real Linda Chow is watching. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven of these, which is amazing for the price. So seven at two bucks is approximately the cost of one figure here in Canada. So I got a real steal on these. And then, okay, so then I got two more of the Red Guards. So if I just count the ones I had tonight, I already had two in the office. So you have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have all of the ones I need for the Dharama. So... That's cool. Even though I think in the movie there's variants of the guards, but nice. So I won't have to reopen that because I already opened it. Okay, so let's push. Let's keep one to open. And then, oh, and these are black series. So that means that these are fully articulated as well. Not just uh, the five points. Mm, yeah, cool. Okay, that makes it even nicer. Okay, I like that. 
Sweet. Hope everything is fine in Ottawa, Linda. Say hi to Carl. Okay, so we have Admiral Akbar, which is, you know, an awesome figure. And he is fully articulated too. So this was liquidation as well. So one of him, we have a Lando, a Billy D. Williams Lando, which is nice. I think it's Billy D. Yeah, it is. Okay, yeah. So we have one Lando. And then we have a Cassian. Wow, very nice. I like the 5.1 from there, but this one is like really nice. I, I never saw him before. These are figures that you can find in the stores, in the in the shelves. They would never have these. So I had to order. Uh, another Admiral Akbar because, you know, in a diorama, you can have never enough Mon Calamari. And then another Cassian. Liquidation. Oh, Admiral Akbar again. Can you guess that I'm going to be doing the Admiral Akbar bridge again with the Mon Mothma briefing? I'm going to be redoing that one soon with a more updated design. Another Akbar. And then... Oh, Jamie says Akbar and Lando are vintage repacks. Vintage from like 2004 vintage or vintage from the latest Wave 2 vintage? I'll have to check that out. And then another Cassian. I have three Cassians. Very nice. And the box is empty. Okay, so very nice. I That's a good steal that I have, I, to tell you the truth. So like two bucks each. So... You know, two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, six, eight, ten, twenty, thirty dollars for all of these figures. Like for Canada, that is really good because usually Canada, when I, when I when he I heard that he told me that they were on sale online for that price, Canada liquidation is like ninety nine cents off the re retail price. So they had a one of the Tie Fighters boxes regular fifty nine dollars or whatever, and it says liquidation fifty four dollars fifty four dollars from 59 is not liquidation. Liquidation is instead of 59, you're paying 19 bucks or 9.99. That's liquidation. That's where you go like, okay, I'm going to buy four of them. But you're not going to, you know, $5 off. That's not liquidation, but that's what we get stuck in in Canada most of the time. So that's kind of the sad situation of living here. But I, I shouldn't say that because living in Canada is amazing. I would never give it up. Being Canadian... I'm, I was going to say something, but I'm not going to get into politics right now for my friends living in the United States. Let's keep it civil. Uh, <coughs> so, Black Series uh, of this guy. Really cool. And then I'll open one at one. I only got one Lando, because I think that's the only one that they had or, or whatnot. And then, and then the Cassian. So, obviously, uh, this one. How, does, how do these open? I... I don't have many black series because you can't find them. And a lot of them are like sort of like a kind of a repack of different things. But okay, he'll be hard to show because of the, the the color and everything. But obviously, like I like the feel. The feel of this plastic is really cool. It's kind of like a softer. Like It's like if you would have taken a regular figure and put it in a microwave for like a minute. And then it would become like all kind of like a gooey. That's kind of how it feels, but yeah, I love how you, you know, obviously you have the knees, you have the ankles, you have the wrists, the elbows. This is an amazing figure. Really cool. So this is what he looks like. For those of you who have not seen him yet, I'll try to rotate him slowly. Is that in focus? I think so. Yeah. So very nice. I I, I like this figure a lot. This is, this will make a really cool diorama. Uh, I know that they made Jin's father. They didn't make a, was his, was his uh, wife's name Ursa? Was that her name? I forget. Um, so I know that uh, they didn't make one of her, so I can't really do that diorama, but anyway. Okay, so I was uh, told, again, by... Uh, by Ted that 
Cassian is one of the best figures ever made. I just... You know, some people, the old Frank would have, like, had a fit for doing this. Ripping a box like this. And some of you, some of the collectors, if you if they see someone taking a toy like this and ripping it, <laughs> they go ballistic. They go like, what are you doing? The box, the box, don't open your toy. But, you know, toys are made to open. Some of them, you know, when the art is really nice, I like to buy extra just to keep it. Because it's it it is I studied my my bachelor's degree in graphic design so I do appreciate good package design and good art. Um, so yeah, so Cassian he actually looks like him a lot, yeah. And then uh, the knees, and then oh, it, at his uh, thighs, his wow, he has lots of articulation. I don't know if you guys can can see that. It's very nice. His face is gorgeous. So let's see if you can see this. If I put it up. Very nice. And then, so obviously he has all the Black Series articulation. The elbows up and down. The ball joint over here. And then the elbows. And then the wrists. And I love this new feature. The wrist actually bends this way too. So you can not only have the rotation, but you have the back and you can like really pose it. If only the fingers would be able to open, then you'd have like a really fully posable character. But this for a diorama, mm -mm -mm, is it going to be really sweet? Really nice. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah. Okay, I agree the packaging for Black Series is kind of dull it's like can't even see and then it, you know people have been complaining of the solo packaging or the new packaging that it's full of text well in canada we've been getting these full of text french english now it includes the the spanish as well because they're trying to get it all done together but we had french english all the time and in french by general rule a word in English that is like this long to spell in French is this long. It always ends up like that. And so you have like three times the amount of text of French and then a little bit of English. And then it would like, you know, make a whole mess of the package. And so we're used to a lot of that. And um, yeah, so you can cry all you want, my American friends, but we've been crying a lot longer. Okay, so I'm opening Admiral Ar Arkbar, I was going to say, Admiral Akbar. Something fell. Oh, his iPad or something. I don't know what that is, actually. Okay, one of his... Oh, I'm kind of disappointed a little bit. I'll tell you why. Hold on. I could be wrong, but... Uh, yeah... Well, the sculpt is nice. He is cool. He is cool looking, obviously. He has a nice costume. His chest, should, shouldn't his chest be sticking out a lot more? Like in the movie, there's like this big... When I count the Lando, or when I count, not Lando, when I count the Mon Calamari uh, video, I'll be able to show uh, the difference of... Uh, what that is but yeah he has all the articulation at the elbow the wrists all the different things so that's very nice but what i'm disappointed is i thought that he would be able to do i okay let me just i'm not going to waste your time too long i'm just going to check if he's close by if i have him um what bin would he be in he would be in the last jet oh maybe he's not even in here this is Rogue One. No, he's not in that. He is not here. He must be. He's in my office. Um, the um, the Admiral Akbar, or, or not Akbar, but the new one. I guess the, the it's a different name. He has his mouth actually opens so like you could make him say it's a trap 
and it's pretty cool the way that his mouth can open and I thought that he would have that same feature but he does not so you can't pose him unless you do a custom and then like slices do operation but uh, oh well but he's a uh, very nice regardless so uh, things Fernand says a repack figure as well yeah c'est ça que les gens me disent yeah apparently Fernand used to, who just joined us for, as if you would all know him, uh, Fernand is a guy that um, I used to bump into at uh, Legends Action Figures, which was the main store in Montreal that we used to uh, go um, shopping at. And uh, it's kind of cool that it makes you show like, ça fait combien d'années, Fernand? My God, 10 ans, 15 ans, oh, plus que 15 ans que Legends était ouvert. I'm trying to remember. For, for those who uh, might be confused, I was speaking French there for a little while. So, And then we have Lando. <coughs> Lando. Hey, Pat. Nice to see you. Neo just joined as well. Agatha. I shall try. I have been bringing some of them to the camera, but, uh, you know... As you can see, I like to talk too much, and uh, then I forget what I'm supposed to concentrate on, which is opening the figures and showing them to you. But anyway, at least you get to see my personality and how insane I am, and why I do uh, all these crazy Star Wars things. Okay, so, um, very nice figure, Lando, actually, though he does have a cloth cape. You know what I think of cloth cape guys, but you know, this one is actually, you know, it's a good size. So it, but it's, you know, it still looks like a piece of Kleenex. Like, you know, it's a blue piece of Kleenex stuck to your figure. You know, I've never, you know, you can't, you can't see the creases of detail sculpting and all that. But anyhow, so this is what uh, Lando looks like close up. I'm going to have the six second delay. So I just have to check it like this. Let me see. There he is. It's a nice figure. Obviously, the cloth again is hiding the whole thing. It's uh, it is fully articulated. He does have the the knees, and then the 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 feet, the wrists, and all the different things. So that it's it's nice. It, he's a nice figure. So we'll be able to put him to good use. And uh, where could you put him? He's in, he has his, uh, he'd be in the Mon Mothma room. He'd probably be in the Ewok celebration. Though I don't know, did he change costume for that part? I can't remember. Okay. So, let me put this over here. I know he's going to fall. They all fell again. Here's Han Solo. He fell with Boba Fett. Place my bear with me while I try to place my figures for the final reveal here and then okay my last box for the evening I don't even know how long I've been doing this probably over an hour at least I've been just yakking and yakking and yakking um, these are the solo toys these are the toys that are still can't not found at least in the stores here in New Brunswick I don't know how it is in the rest of Canada but I know that you guys in the States are having a lot of trouble finding these as well. So this is paper. Okay, so I have two boxes. I have a small box and then I have a bigger box. Okay, so I'm assuming that some one box is the two packs and one box is the regular figures. Now... It says April 13th. Are we, yeah, we're past April 13th. Yeah, of course, because I remember going to the store April 13th, and there was nothing. And then I went the week after, and there was nothing. And then it keep going, nothing, nothing, nothing. <coughs> Anyhow. Okay, so. In here is the solo toys. I've seen some pictures online, but I haven't seen them in person. So we shall open them together and see uh, what it is. I have bought my tickets, by the way, if you're wondering. Uh, I'm going on, uh, when does the movie open? May 24? I'm going on the 23rd. 
the day before, like at 10 o'clock or 11 or midnight, I forget. Forget the time, but it's the day before that, uh, that uh, I'm going to check it out. So, Okay. So... I'll get, give you the peek before I get to look. So this is one of them. If I feel, this actually feels like the single cards. Yep, these are the single cards. Okay, and we have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 12 figures in this one. Okay, and this would be the, look how small these boxes are now. You know, I'm kind of a little ticked. You know, I'll open, I'll pull one out, just like this. Okay, so this is Chewbacca. They're back to the small cards again. I don't like the small cards. It's the same size as the old ones. Mm. I mean, the, the, the last Jedi ones. Where's the regular card? I don't have one here. I hit, you know, that's just me. I was ranting about it in the other video. You know, I have like... 20 years of cards or of toys that you buy that look super nice when they're placed together and then they decide to change the size of the package and then you go to a super nice wall and then you have these eyesores that just stick out and then you just go like at least the vintage went back to the normal size to fit with the old ones that you had but anyway okay i'll open that later so let's look at this the video stopped ted says it says live again now. It could have cut out because of the uh, Wi-Fi. But I think I'm on now because it says live. And I'm still seeing the thing. You guys still see me, right? I have a delay. So either in six seconds I'll be seeing the screen go black and then you're not even hearing this. Or there, there was just a cutoff. And there's someone who did a sort of like a poo-poo icon or something. I'm not quite sure. No, there's no, we're lucky we didn't have the flood in this corner of the New Brunswick, thank God. Uh, no flood here. Okay, Linda still sees us. Okay, well, that's good. Hey, Chris, just joined. Okay, and then these are the two packs. Okay. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, two packs. And as you can see, uh, Lando, very cool, but what is this? Qui-Gon! I didn't even know they were making Qui-Gon figure again to... Okay, so... Okay, you guys vote. Do I open the two-pack box first or the single packs? Let me see. First person to answer, I'm going to do what you're telling me. But I have a feeling that we're going to go with this one. I could be wrong. I'm using my Jedi mind trick to tell people to vote for things yes you are live okay good okay it's still working okay well let's open this one since i have it in my hand okay so repack in yellow of what was this one it's almost the same same thing so there we go i basically didn't need to order this one since if I had known that this was coming out in this box. But anyway, always love to have extra droids. Always good for Death Stars and Star Destroyers or whatever it is. Snoke ship. And uh, Imperial Disguises can, you know, you can chop her hair, give her new hairdos, put new heads on. Have lots of people walking around. It's always good for dioramas. So I'm not even going to bother opening this one because I opened it previously on uh, the Red Rose. Red Rose. <laughs> Does Red Rose is Red Rose tea exist in the United States or just in Canada? Red Rose. Anyhow. My humor is very lame tonight. I'm getting uh, tired. Very nice. I, I you know I haven't seen the movie yet. Uh but uh the likeness of this actor, I don't even know who this actor is, to tell you the truth, because I don't watch current TV or or, or whatever where I know he apparently has been in different things or, or whatnot. This is very cool. There's two of them. So I have two Landos. I could keep one open for now and then one uh, thing. So this is nice. And then, okay, 
do we really need another Darth Maul and Qui-Gon? Seriously, like, in today's 2018, like, is there a demand for Qui-Gon? <sighs> okay. I will see if anyone comments on that, on, on that uh, thing, but... To, uh, you know, I will say that the figure, the face of this Qui-Gon looks the most like Qui-Gon's of the past compared to the others, but... Okay, this one is obviously the one that you want in the box. It's very cool. So I will open him at last or after. I'm not going to open these roses. I already have them. So we'll take Qui-Gon, open him... And see what he looks like close up. But why? Why Qui-Gon? M. Josiane. I assume c'est pour Marianne. Or Marie Josiane. Marie, ça serait le plus commun. Je ne sais pas. Mais bienvenue. Uh, hey, Sylvain. Ça va bien? I have all my old friends from Montreal coming. That's why I'm switching to French, English, French. Oh, these are hard to open. They're all stuck in this, like, plastic thing. At least they don't have the um, elastics of the past, you know, the figures from 94. I don't know if the 94 figures had them, but the figures of all of the 2000 till 2010, at least, they had these, like, tiny, tiny elastics all wrapped around their arms and stuff, and that would loop through the back, and then you'd pull it. You, you, it would be, like, uh, really annoying. Okay, well, you have this uh, little perch, uh, sort of the droid there, that goes uh, looking for Anakin, uh, searching for him or, or whatnot. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, well, I'll show you what he looks like. This should be in, in focus. I'm just going to, I have the six second delay here, so hold on. Hey, Noah, I am bringing them to camera. Il faut être patient. So he does look like Liam, you know, a lot more than some of the other figures that, that they had. He's a nice sculpt, even for five points articulation. I think that they're kind of cool looking, to tell you the truth. I don't think we need another, and I didn't need another, you know, Qui-Gon figure, but. And then, what is this? Okay, here is, here is Darth Maul. Okay, so this is when I say the capes, I like plastic capes a lot more than cloth capes because you have detail and it actually looks like the wind is in it and it looks a lot cooler in camera with the, you know, um, inside a diorama form and, and whatnot. But let's see if his, oh, his cape does come off. Okay, excellent. So, so he has that split thing there in the front and the back, which is nice. And, you know, it's a nice Darth Maul. It's okay. I guess if you never had any of the Darth Mauls from episode one and and all that, the, uh, you know, this would be a good addition. What is with this bracelet? Does that, oh, at least it comes off. But when did, did Darth Maul have a handcuff? I don't, I don't recall that. I don't think so, but I could be wrong. But, uh, yeah, you have his cape. And then if, if Qui-Gon wanted to go in disguise, see, you could have Qui-Gon Maul like this. See? See, I'm rewriting the script to episode one already. That's what kids do. I guess they play with their figures and, and, and do what they want. So, actually, look, I know, I know that Liam Neeson is tall, like six foot four or something like this. So look at the difference in height. With Qui-Gon and Darth Maul. That's like pretty uh, excessive. Don't you think? Like uh, I didn't know that he was that taller than Darth Maul. It's a bit insane. But anyway. Okay. So we have them. I'll put them here. On the little stand. I'll put Qui-Gon next to uh, Cassian. 
you can't see what I'm doing here off the camera there, but I'm placing the figures on the little stand so I can show you after. Okay, so, oh, no, okay, now on to this one. Lando, did you see how fast I changed that subject? I'm like that, what was that movie? Over the Hedge, do you guys remember that movie? With uh, Bruce Willis, I think it was Bruce Willis did the voice of the, did you do the squirrel? No, he did, Bruce Willis did the rack, was it a raccoon or a rabbit? I think it was a raccoon. And then there was a, the guy from Will and Grace, he did the squirrel. It was always like squirrel, squirrel. That's kind of like how I am. Okay, so I like the colors of this. It makes me think of my website, yellow or yellow orangey. Do you guys like the new design of the website, by the way? I haven't really gotten like a lot of feedback on that. I have people saying that it's fun. They're really happy that I'm going, you know, I'm doing updates and back into the game again, which is really cool. And, um, but I hope you like the new design. I, I love it. It's like, uh, it took me three months to learn WordPress, which was a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. But compared to when I look back at the website that was there before, ugh, so ugly. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Look at this guy. He has like this suave scarf kind of kind of thing. That's hilarious. I love that. And his likeness is really, really good. Like he really looks like the the actor from uh, the movie. That's it. You guys see that? I'm saying, yeah. Nice. And then his cape obviously is, well, not obviously, it's not obvious, but, oh, I like that. Okay, well, his cape comes off, which is good, right? But look how smart this is. They actually put the scarf thing, or the scarf thing, they put his scarf molded with his cape, so you can't lose this if it would fall off the figure. That's very smart. That's a smart design. Very good, Hasbro. And, uh, yeah, I love this figure. It's, I love the likeness. I really like it. I really hope that Solo, the movie, is going to be good. And I hope it's going to be better than I think it is. Because I want to make some dioramas from it. Especially if the figures are this good. I hope they're going to, like, release a lot of figures from Solo. And we'll be able to make some really cool action figures from it. Okay, so this is... Um, this guy's name is the Kessel Guard. I know Kessel Run. We've all heard that since episode four. So he's a, gu a guard from Kessel. And so I I don't know if that's the part with the train in the trailer where they go on magnetic tracks or whatever. I'm not quite sure exactly what that is. But um, okay, well, he has nice details. Uh... You know, he has sort of like a apron and some pads and stuff. Of course, it's a five-point articulation, so you can't really, like, pose him super, you know, perfect in, in different dioramas and stuff like that. But the paint job is, is not bad for for what it is. Um, is it the coolest Star Wars character design? Maybe not, but anyway, it, it's a start. It's something new that we have not seen before. <clears throat> and then here there's, I'm not going to open this, but it looks like some kind of like tripod cannon kind of accessory or, or whatnot. So these are always fun to have because in dioramas, it's hard to sculpt cannons and chairs and different things like this. I'm getting the hiccups. Excuse me moi for that. So kudos on, on that. So that is um, the two packs. And then we have now the single cards. So let us break down the box and then I will open the figures. So we have uh, ugh, a sad looking Chewbacca, but anyway. Okay, we have a Chewbacca, right? And then we have this girl, Kira. Some people have pronounced trouble pronouncing her. I think it's Kira, even though it's Q-I-R-A, but I'm, I'm assuming it's Kira because it wouldn't be Qui... Ki Kyra or Kai apostrophe R A Kiara or whatever, but 
Anyway, it makes me think, you know, uh, only the French people from Montreal will find this funny or whatever. But I remember still to this day, one of the funniest things I ever saw was, um, well, it's not really the funniest thing. That's kind of sad if this was the funniest thing. But anyhow, it did make me laugh. There, I was at a McDonald's and they served fajitas at McDonald's. And there was this French girl in front. And then she, she asked the ladies if she could have the fajita. <laughs> the lady, she goes, what? And she goes, je veux des fajita. Instead of fajitas, she was going fajita, and she was pronouncing the J like G instead of he, like you do normally, and so it was very funny, you know. You probably are not laughing, but I thought it was funny back at the time, and the people in Montreal will laugh. Okay, so, um, Chewbacca again, and then, oh. Jamie says there's a variant of the Chewbacca. One has a molded detail on the back of the bandolier. Kind of looks the same. I guess that would depend on what box. I doubt they'd put a variant inside the same box. So I'll have to look for, for that. So here's another Kira. So that's two Kiras. I don't like her look either. I find it, not that it's Hunger Games, but it don't look Star Wars-y to me. But anyway, that's just me being... Picky. Okay. Oh, and K2SO. Sweet. Uh, Force Link, which means he has some dialogue and stuff, but... Okay, he seems very dark plastic, like in the the Rogue One version. I don't think he's this dark. I think he's more blue, but I don't know. I could be wrong. Okay, one of our next favorite... What is this? A Mimban... Mim... Mimban... Stormtrooper... Okay, that must be a new planet. Very cool. You can never have enough Stormtroopers. And Stormtroopers, I still say to this day, this is the most cool, iconic costume design in the history of movies. It's just brilliant. It's like the the way that they designed this, the way that it, the, the people put it on, the way it's fabricated, the way it looks, is just like you recognize it instantly. And it's after 40 years, it still kicks your butt in design and it's amazing okay another k2so could have done without two okay maz canada is she in solo no okay these no because k2so is not in solo so this is not just solo pack there's no okay it's orange packaging but it's not only solo which would have been nice since you're doing solo but anyway okay a mask she looks the same as the other one, though. It's like, just, I hate when they do repacks, but that's, you know, they've been doing that for over 25 years now. Oh, a repack of uh, Luke Skywalker, Jedi Master. Okay, nice. That's not the one I just bought. No, the one I just bought is the one that Ray finds hidden on the island. This is the, okay. This is the one that they had already on the other one. Okay, there's there's two of him. Though he's kind of easy to find in stores. At least I've seen him more in stores. These are other ones I've never seen. Well, I have, I've i seen him on the old cards. I have not seen... There is no yellow cards in Canada as of May... What are we today? 14? 15? 16, maybe? Uh, so, yeah. The, he, he's been around a lot in the, the other things. Okay, very cool. Uh, Range Trooper. This is the one on that train, I believe. He looks like a sort of like a Sasquatch, not a Sasquatch, but a sort of like a, well, kind of Sasquatchy, polar bear kind of thing. Very nice. And uh, two of him. Okay. So that's that box. Okay. If we look at the breakdown of this, I don't know if you can see uh, this. This I would have left out. I don't think they should have needed to put this at all. So this is two wasted spots in a new box, I find. Bad. One Maz, good choice. Two would have been too much. Okay. 2K. This is a love of this character. I almost cried. I did not quite cry like I had cried at E.T. in 1982. Uh, but uh, I was really sad when he died. That's how much I really got to like this character. And I'm sure many of you were really sad when you saw him get shot up uh, at the, the Death Star. Um, but uh, to have two of him again, I would have put one. 
I would have put one and then maybe three of this guy. This is what everyone wants is going to want to get. So I would have put more of him. Or to have only one cool Stormtrooper in all this, really? It's like, I don't know. Why didn't they put a Lando? And where's Han Solo? There's no Han. That's really weird. Where's the Han Solo? Oh, he must come with the his speeder bike or something. Hmm. Which we don't have in store here either. So, yeah, this is pretty this is pretty crappy in terms of case thing there. I agree, Jamie. Awful case assortment. Yeah. Where is the Han Solo? You're making toys for a solo movie and there's no Han Solo. And there's no Lando. There was Lando in the two-pack, but it's kind of sucky that you have to buy... Mm. And then these two K and oh, I'm kind of a bit disappointed in all of this, but okay. So let's just, I have to analyze my cards here now and see what card is the nicer card of the two. So I could know which one to open or, or not. But uh, yeah, this one, this card looks like the nicer card. And then out of her card, that one's bent. This one's cleaner. Chewie is um, kind of the same. It's... Chewie looks really weird. I'll show you when, the, you know, I'm looking at them. You're looking at me watch the figure. It's very rude of me. I should be showing you the figure instead. But I'm just picking which one I want to keep and which one I want to open. Okay, well, yeah, Chewbacca is very bizarre. And then the K2SO card. Uh, Equal. This one is actually a bit nicer. I'll leave. Luke, I'm not going to open because I already opened him in the, in the other one. And then this one. And then Maz. There's only one Maz, but you know, I'll just I'll, maybe I'll open the this Stormtrooper because I want to open him anyway. But okay, so let's. I've been talking a lot about the looks of Chewbacca, so let us um, open him first. Oh, and he has. Let's see if they change the... Yeah. See, the vintage figures, they had only a little piece of scotch tape, which was, like, super easy to open and super easy to steal, in my opinion. And uh, I was saying how it was a little ridiculous. It looks like they went back to the complete heat seal blister on these ones, which means that as soon as I open this, I'm going to ruin the whole card, which, you know, I guess... Unless I try to use my exacto, hold on, I'll try to pierce this here. And then carefully move this over. Oh, not bad. Okay, so I got a little bit of the, you know, the normal tear there that stuck to this piece of the plastic there. But, uh, okay, well. I was going to make you listen to the force link thing at the same time, but the batteries on this died just as I started this video at uh, 9 o'clock, which I must be going on an hour and a half now, I, I can't imagine. But uh, I hear the cat being restless in the background. Okay, so here is Chewbacca. Did Chewbacca have two? No, in the movie he only had one strap, right? Okay, so... Let me just show you his face, and then you can put comments of what you think. <laughs> okay, is this in focus? Can you can you get a good look of this? I don't even know. I have to look at the delay. Hold on. Let's see. Actually, in the in the video, he looks nice. <laughs> I guess it's the lighting. I don't, if I angle him or something, would he look different? He has a really strange face. He looks, did you guys see the Star Wars special where you had Chewbacca's family and you had his kid Lumpy? I think it was Lumpy was his name. He looks more like Lumpy. But uh, think, what is this? Jamie says you need the new Force Link 2 for these. What? What? Are you telling me that this thing, this piece of caca that hardly works at all on the uh, other figures... That this doesn't even work on these figures. And if I want to hear this sound, I have to buy another Kaka piece of the version 2. 
Oh my God, Hasbro, Kaka Hasbro for that. My Lord, that is really, really bad. Okay, now I'm really angry. Jamie, you made me angry for the rest of the video. <laughs> that really is really bad marketing. Already that was like a waste of money. And that came, I don't even remember what that came with, some figure or whatnot. And half the time the figure doesn't even make the sound because you have to shake it or whatever. It's the stupidest piece of poo. And now to, that it doesn't even work with the figures, oh my God, this is like, just like. Anyhow, so to me, uh, you guys will have to buy it because he looked good in the video when I was looking at it. He, you know, he was making a liar out of me. I'll try it one more time then see if I see the video. But uh, let me look closer. There he goes. Okay, this looks more, see? Don't you think he looks more like Lumpy or like a teenage? I don't know. He doesn't look like Chewy. His head is too big. He has too much hair. There's on the top. There's something odd with this Chewbacca. I'm not quite sure, but it's like he has this big poof of hair. Like his hair should be this tall, but it's like this. He looks like a B-52 Chewbacca or something. Anyhow, but you know, for a five point, it's, you know, it's okay. It is Chewbacca. But why is there no Han Solo? How can you have a Chewbacca and no Han Solo in this assortment? I'm going back ranting again to this thing, but it makes no sense. What kind of stupid marketing is that? I'm not going to mention Lando. I've already talked about him and he is available, but what, it's, oh my God, it's just so stupid. Bye Sylvain. Talk to you soon. Continue à me laisser des commentaires sur Facebook. Okay, so Chewbacca is there. He's really tall. Okay, next. Put that there. Next, uh, let's open... Um, I'll keep Stormtrooper for last, because uh, these two Stormtroopers... Okay, I guess we'll get to the girl of Han Solo. I don't know if this is his girlfriend in the movie or, or whatever. Because he was never married, was he? No, I don't believe so. Well, he married Princess Leia. We assume he was married, even though there never was, you know, mentioned. I don't think he was mentioned. Okay, so here is Kira. And, um, okay, well. She has, you know, she has nice, nice detail. I don't think she looks like the actress, but, you know. At least she, her little skirt is uh, made of plastic. It's not made of cloth, which I'm very happy uh, about. Um, again, I'm going to have to see uh, what the movie, what her role is in the movie to see if I really like her or not. But uh, I'm going to give her a chance. You know, I, I love her in Game of Thrones. She's really good. But everything she's done outside of Game of Thrones, I'm, I've not been a big fan of. So I'll just leave that one here. Okay, uh, K2SO. I wish I had my other K2SO close by. So I could... Uh, I'm going to have to really hurt myself and cut my fingers with this exactly. Um, he seems really dark. It's almost as if it's a black... K this K2SO is black. And his head looks small. Okay, it's kind of, it's kind of sucky that he doesn't bend in the knees and everything, but, you know, look, it is a five-point figure. But this is what uh, he looks like in this version of him. Um, you could see that, uh, you know, it's not much detail. It is what the robot is. You know, it's like, uh, it doesn't look, you know, any poop or whatever, but he'll be good in some rogue... Uh, Rogue One dioramas and stuff like that, but I'm just gonna see quick, quick. Hold on, give me a second. If uh... Rogue One, Rogue One, where are you? Kylo. No, I don't have a copy of him. Okay, I thought I had an extra. 
a mixture of him that I could have showed you. But seems to me the other one is more blue. It's not black like this. This I find uh, really odd. But okay. So put him up there. It's a nice figure though. Okay, Maz. Maz is definitely, I think, the... I won't say disappointment, but then when you look at the Yoda figures they made over the years, Yoda is so small, so obviously they're making it to scale. If the characters, like, goes to the knees of the figures, they can, you, you know, it's going to be a small piece of plastic compared to the details that you have with the others, so, you know. There is lots of details on her character. There's a jetpack, but, and her... Her glasses do come off, but... I don't know, like... Do we did we really need that? It seems to me it's the same figure that was in the other movie. Like they didn't even change it. You know what they should have done, which might have been cooler, is that in the movie, right? She um she does um Sort of like a hologram message, isn't it? She's like in a fight or whatever. So they should have molded her all in blue transparent plastic like they did the old uh, Jedi ghosts. So then she would have been like a hologram mask. At least I would have been maybe cooler than just having the same... Well, I don't want to say it's the same one because I can't 100% guarantee it's the same one. From what I remember, she kind of looks the same or whatnot. But anyhow. Okay. Let's put her, uh, she's small, so I'll have to stand her in the front there. I'll put her with Darth Maul. Okay, so we have two figures left. And then I'm going to take the camera, flip it, and show you what, uh, what, we, what we saw. So It's sad. It's like Christmas coming to an end. There's only two gifts left to open. And just an hour and a half ago, we had all these boxes. Okay. I'm glad to see all you guys coming and, and watch the video. That means a lot to me. Uh, I have to say, my friends, some of my friends make fun of me. They say, like, why are you making a video? <laughs> no one's going to come and watch. No one cares. But uh, obviously, and I used to make fun of people doing these kinds of videos too, saying, like, what is this kind of thing? But I said, you know, I'm trying to, with the new design on the site and, the you know, now that I have more time also to, to give to the website and, and and content and different things. I said, why not try? And if no one would watch it, then I'd stop. But it seems, you know, I'm getting feedback of people actually liking seeing me banter on and and, uh, and yak a lot and things like this. And, and it's a way for my, my uh, US friends to get to see uh, what a Canadian acts like. <laughs> There's one person I met recently, they said like, wow, you speak really well English. Well, that's a bad English phrase. That's not <laughs> that's a bad example because I didn't. I my vocabulary there was totally off. But anyhow, she was saying uh, like, "Oh, you, I love your accent. You don't have an accent." I'm going like, "Why would I have an accent? Like, I'm, well, you know, I guess, you know, if you're from different parts of the states, you have some accents, you know, like Brooklyn or Boston or different things. But in Canada, well, I guess there's some." different things more like the French where I, we live now in New Brunswick there's the Shediac French thing there where I speak you know I grew up in uh, speaking French in, in uh, school in high school and I speak perfectly you know bilingual but you listen to the French that they say here and I'm going like what the hell are they talking about it's like a completely like Ooh. anyhow um so this is a nice Stormtrooper. It kind of looks like the the uh, New Hope Stormtrooper. Uh, he has a cool, cool looking cape. Uh, very weathered. I like that. Uh, I don't know what part of the movie is. Actually, oh, look, his helmet is kind of different. There's, I don't know if, can you see that? That's a detail in the helmet. Instead of being a smooth dome, it's a bit raised here in the front. I don't know. Can you see? Is that in focus? Can you see that? It's like, I hate this delay. I can't. I can't see if the figure is in 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 shot or not. Or anything there. Very nice. Yeah, I like this figure. It's very good. Uh, so, yeah. It's very disappointing that they only put one of him though in the box. Like they should have put at least two, maybe three. I would have re removed those Lukes and put three of him instead. But 
who does the marketing over there? Like, don't they, you know, I don't know. They think that, uh, and then the, the sad thing is that the stores, you know, when they go to, oh, this guy is not wanting to stand up. Um, the store, if, you know, if people want to buy the Stormtrooper, the store is opening four or five boxes. So you're going to have like 12 Lukes. And until the Lukes sell, they're not going to open a new box to give the Stormtrooper. So you're going to be stuck like we have the roses now where, you know, there's like no new figures on the shelves because they want to sell all the old things that, you know, they put too many in the case. It's like, uh, I guess, you know, you'd think they'd learn after 25 years since 1994 of doing this, but. Okay, this guy, Range Trooper, our last figure for tonight. And he is really cool. He has a, uh, he has what looks like magnetic boots, magnetic ski boots kind of thing, which I would imagine that's what that is. Can you even, uh, can you see this? Yeah. There's nice details on that, looking at it. And then he has uh, this uh, fur, fur pelt. That's why I say it kind of looks like Sasquatch kind of thing. But uh, yeah, I guess so. It's like a, a deluxe version of the snow troopers with, uh, yeah, why didn't the snow troopers wear fur coats in Hoth? If this guy has like a fur coat because he's cold, I'd be curious to see that. Okay, so obviously no hip or knee articulation or anything on this guy, but he really looks nice. So let me put him there. Okay, I'm going to uh, flip the camera and show you what the figures look like. Hold on. Let me grab the camera off its socket here. Oh. So these are the figures that we looked at today, which is pretty nice. I'm going to unplug the phone now because of the thing. Okay, so. So we had the Luke figure. I really like this figure. It's really nice. But I like him actually better than the, the than the other Luke. But and then the R2. And then we had a uh, little evil BB eight. And then the Phasma. Phasma came with the the Finn Finn guy over there. And uh, Finn and Rose. So these two, I'm going to be having a lot of fun. I'm going to be making a diorama with those and the black uh, BB-8. And then with BB-8 there. Um, I'm going to be making a diorama of um, when they go into uh, Snoke's ship there in disguise. I'm just going to probably have to get another Finn and do a modification of the DJ in disguise because they don't have uh, him. The Rose disguise, I don't know, she looks really a little weird. But the Finn is really, really cool sculpt. Like he's one of the better looking resemblance of uh, of the of the actor. And then we have that uh, Kira girl there from uh, Solo. And then we have K two uh, next to her. K two is almost double the size. <laughs> and then uh, this was the Death Trooper. I got eight of him. They were on sale at Kmart or Walmart, I should say, for two bucks, which was a ridiculous price. And then Qui-Gon figure that came with, uh, where's the, here, with the, the new Darth Maul. Qui-Gon, when you look at him, he, he does look like Liam Neeson. It's like a good likeness of uh, the character. Um, and then this one, amazing. Uh, they really, really did a great job on the likeness and uh, that's a great black figure um ray mm, she don't look like ray she looks who does she look like she looks like denise richards from starship troopers or she looks like some actress i've seen before but she doesn't look like the one in in the movie god i'm getting a blank i don't even remember the name of the girl in uh, the movie what's her name <laughs> Ray is not Daisy, is it? Yeah, R R Ridley? Riley? Daisy Ridley? Daisy Riley? Something like that. Um, and then these guys, I'm going to be making a cool diorama of the Red Room 
I'm looking really forward to doing that. And then uh, when we go over here, they had the Maz. That was the new figure that we unpacked, which was, uh, you know, a bit, you know, like, did we really need that? I don't think so. Amazing Lando. Very cool. I like that. And uh, then Chewbacca. This Chewbacca is really funky looking, especially, look, you could put him in the camera. Like, he's like, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. But... I don't know. I know his eyes are close together or, or he has too much hair. There's, I mean, I know I'm fixating on Chewbacca tonight, but there, what's, what is wrong with his face? What is some, I can't put my finger on it, but there's something that's just, it's not there. Anyway, this guy is really cool. I'm looking forward to seeing this sequence. It looks really cool. Hey Ken, nice to, of you to join us. Um, <laughs> Dave says he looked like a girl. Well, oh, you know who he looks like? Okay, this is really, um, this is really pushing it. But you know who, he <laughs> I just put my finger on it. Okay, do you guys remember the group, the Bangles, <laughs> who sang Walk Like an Egyptian and Manic Monday and all that? He looks like the girl, the redhead girl in the Bangles. <laughs> Okay, that's that sounds really mean, but <laughs> that's who I get when I look at his face with the eyes and the hair. I don't know. It makes me think of the bangles. <laughs> oh, my God. I need a coffee or something. I don't know. It's just like, uh, okay. And then very cool to have a new stormtrooper over here. I love this. Yes, the bass player, exactly, Vinny. Did you know, going back to Bangles here, just a, a, a quick reference, which is something I did not know, uh, only after rewatching uh, a long time ago, um, or a short while ago, I should say, uh, the girl in the Bangles with the red hair, the bass player, her name was, what was her name? Um, Susanna Hoff was the main singer, I know that. And then the girl with the red hair, what was her name? Anyway, if you know her name, just uh, type it. But anyhow, she was in the original all-girl rock band. Um, uh, oh, God, now I have a, a, a blank memory. The ones who sang uh, Cherry Bomb, and they made a movie with the girl from um, uh, that vampire terrible uh, vampire films there that teenage vampire movie my god i have really bad memory now as you can tell it's time to end this video uh soon michael michael is the bass player uh names uh no not joan jett joan jett was in the the uh, in the band with this michael with michael uh the bass player and uh sherry curry was uh the name of the main singer and they, their band was called The Runaways. Yes, thank you, Vinny. So The Runaways was actually the first all-girl band before Go-Go's and Bangles and all this. And so she was in the original band and then she went into the Bangles. So it was funny that the Bangles took the girl, original girl from the thing. So anyway, so that's your history lesson in uh, 80s and 70s music uh, for tonight. And uh, so, yeah, so this guy, Pretty cool, new alien. I'm looking forward to seeing what that is exactly. And then Lando, look at the likeness of him. It's amazing. He looks really like the actor. For a three inch figure, like to look exactly like that. Very nice. And again, where is Han Solo? There is no Han Solo in the Solo movie cards. It makes no sense. I don't get it. Anyway. Okay, well, let me flip the camera to me. There I am. Okay, so uh, there we go. That was the video for tonight. Um, we opened the four boxes. If you missed it, I'm going to be uh, putting this on Archive um, YouTube channel uh, in um, a day or two. And obviously, I think it goes automatically in Archive here on Facebook. So you can watch it after it plays. You'll be able to do that as well. Pick up. 
So, uh, yeah, so that was counting, not counting, I'm getting my videos mixed up. That was uh, my what's in the box videos. And uh, this is what is kind of like left of the garbage from <laughs> opening the boxes. And, oh, no, rotate my phone. Oh, sorry about that. I had, uh, it's going to make a big sort of like jerk in, in, in the edit. Um, yeah, so... I'm trying to uh, say all the different things. So anyway, uh, yeah, Ted is saying it best. He said bye. So I think that's what I'm going to do. It's been a long evening. I'm going to go watch my Survivor now. And uh, anyhow, oh, Christine just joined just as I'm saying goodbye. Christine, Christine, why didn't you come earlier? Uh, Christine is in California. So there's three hour uh, difference uh, over there. Um Anyhow, uh, so, uh, Christine, you'll have to w uh, go back a little bit and then see what we've been uh, watching. And uh, Christine says, bring them on camera. We, uh, we just did that five minutes ago, so I'm not going to repeat for the people who are going to be bored. And uh, anyway, so, look, guys, thank you for coming. Thank you for joining me, and thank you for watching. And uh, make sure to... Uh, Keep watching the updates on uh, the website, dioramaworkshop.com. And, uh, you know, I'll be doing more of these uh, live uh, Facebooks uh, as we go along during the summer as well. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Frank Diorio, Diorama Workshop, out. Talk to you soon. Bye now.